My first question is, uh, you, you told your first business was to make cre create computer games yeah. for your classmates. Yeah. Uh, do you like to play computer, computer games? Well, I used to, but uh, I don't have much time now, so yeah. It takes time. It takes time, <laughs> yeah. And do you think the virtual reality is better or nicer than reality? Uh, of course not, no. Reality is much better. And there will be a lot of uh, development ahead until we reach... And I don't think we'll ever surpass real, you know, real experiences. Like, every, digital is still artificial and there is a, lot, a long way ahead until, uh, until we even reach the same level that uh, you can achieve with reality. Even though I know, for example, my uh, friend's uh, grandmother, who, uh, uh, who is a very old lady, like 90 years old, and he gave her an uh, Oculus Rift, just to you know, try to, to, to see how she reacts, and she was just blown away, because uh, there's this app where you can go into a Brazilian church somewhere, and she was just looking around, and she was saying, uh, oh, Dieva, Dieva, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> so maybe in some cases it's good, but... Uh, but it's possible to create more perfect reality. You think so? <laughs> no. I don't think so, I doubt it. This one's amazing. What have you done? You, you have uh, tried to improve things, to improve reality, to invent something new. Yeah, so I'm, I, I actually thought about a, a lot about this, and uh, I think uh, uh, creativity is I guess, and progress is the only uh, positive thing that's happening in, on the Earth. So it's, a, it's just a very pleasurable to, to work on, on innovative products and support progress. Do you believe that the progress is still going on? Huh. Yeah, I think so, yeah. And uh, the humanity is getting more clever? I think we are becoming more aware as a, a group, as a unit of many people. So, you know, these uh, uh, countries and nations are becoming more aware of uh, themselves. So rather than being individuals, we're kind of connecting into one a large subconscious, if you will. Do you enjoy to invent things yeah. or, or you do it by uh, necessity? No, I, I mean, it's, there are definitely better ways to make money. Uh, so, yeah, I definitely do this because I enjoy doing it. Which are more effective ways to make money? Uh, just go to financial sector. Believe me, because when I was working uh, and, uh, uh, with these investment banks, you, it's boring stuff, but you can make much, much more money than creating new uh, new products, even though there is a slight possibility that you know you, your product will be successful as w one of those unicorns like Facebook or, or uh, I don't know, Uber or whatever. But this this is uh, more like a, a exception than 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 what, what's normally happening. Normally, everybody is just you know making a regular salary and just doing their own products, and that's it. Is it necessary for you to get bored to invent something new? I think... Well, I don't get bored, actually. Yes, <laughs> never. No, it's always something interesting happening. And, you know, whenever you have some free time, you go read books, watch movies, so I go meet new people, so... You know, somebody said that only boring people are bored, so I, 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 I believe that's, that's true. But you told about routine yeah. as a necessary thing. Yeah, but routine in a way that, uh, not in a time schedule, but in a, uh, in a way how you uh, develop uh, your, uh, how you engineer yourself. You know, you have, you have to constantly look into, uh, into developing yourself and what kind of people you surround yourself what kind of habits you develop yourself. So, yeah, I don't know if it's a very clear analogy. Maybe it's not, but, uh, but 
Yeah, I, I don't see routine as a, you know, like very strict time schedule. It's more of a, a how you look at life. And now you have this life schedule? Yeah, I, th I think so. After, uh, after burning out for a few years, I, I think, you know, I found the uh, inner calm and uh, yeah, so it's... Uh... Which is the most effective method for you to get to the new ideas? Uh, you just have to think about it. That's it, like you have to constantly think about it, analyze, research, and uh, I don't think there are any other way. You just have to be persistent, keep on trying, and uh, even today, you know, when I'm here, when I'm looking through the window, I'm thinking about, oh, okay, we, we're, we're having this problem, maybe we could look at it this way, maybe another way, and you just have to spend a lot of time, analyze, share your ideas, don't ever be afraid to, to keep them, keep them, to, them to yourself, <laughs> always share them, get the feedback from other people, and uh, yeah, I think that's, that's the most important thing, just keep on... Uh, thinking about it. about one thing, not switching them. Well, you know, sometimes it's uh, like a river; you don't really know what direction it will go. So, uh, but you do have to be persistent. If 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 so, is, so I know it, it really depends on situa situation, I guess, because if uh, if 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 you are a creative agency and you have a project that a client is expecting you to deliver, then of course it's one one idea. But when I do it for myself, I tend to shift away, pivot all the time. Science fiction writer Isaac Asimov, who wrote several hundreds of books. Uh, had the method to work on many books at the same time, and if you are stuck with one, <laughs> you mm. can you can continue with another. Do you work on one project at the time? Well, when I was working on illustrations, that was exactly what I, what I was doing, because uh, you don't need uh, an external input. And now, when uh, I have a few businesses. Uh, and businesses are very, very directly connected with uh, uh, people who buy them. You know, you have certain uh, uh, investors who expect something from you. That's why you don't really cannot like shift too much because you are very involved in uh, this entire ecosystem and it's changing very fast and you have to react rapidly. So yeah, when it comes to business, unfortunately, you have to concentrate. How do you feel about uh, business going global? It's very exciting. I think I think it's very very exciting. It's it's how it should be, and people are voting. As I said on stage, people are voting with their wallets, and that's the best. Uh, uh, do I I believe in uh, wild consumerism and uh, and. Uh, if, if, if people like your product, if you can convince them to buy it, that's then go ahead, sell, sell air, or sell, uh, you know, whatever. Thank you for your answers and for your presentation and good luck. Thanks for having me.